welcome to the Precision Air Rifle channel. Got a good slug review for you today. We're going to be shooting the Howler slugs in 20.3 grain out of an Impact Mark II with a 700 millimeter barrel. It does have the power kit and the regulator is turned up to 140 bar. It's running at about 1100 feet per second. I am having a few problems with my magazine feeding these, so I may have to go one shot at a time. But that's enough talking. Let's get shooting. Okay, that was five shots at 30 yards. Let's push it on out to 50 yards and see what we get. Okay, we shot the 30 yards, not the tightest group, but we're gonna push it back to 50 and see how they do. I don't know, I've shot better. Um, I don't know if that's because of the feeding the single shot or what, but we're going to try a 50 and see what we get. Okay, that was five shots. Not that good a shooting. Uh, I'm gonna give it a few more shots to see if it settles in uh, and how I settle in.
Okay. Seems like some of the slugs went down. Not sure what I think of these. I think I'm going to have to do some tuning with them to tighten up the groups. And I'll get back with you. This won't be the only video I do on these slugs. I'm going to see what I can do to make them better. Let's close this out with some information. The average velocity on those rounds was 1,100 feet per second. The <clears throat> standard, the stats for the high was 1102. Stats for the low were 1097. The extreme spread was 5. And the standard deviation was 1.9. So the tune on the rifle, I'd say, is pretty good for a speed tune. Harmonic tune, that's what we're going to have to work with. And if I take from the chronograph the, the stats from the 30-yard mark in the muzzle and feed it into Chairgun Pro, I come out with a BC of 0 0.0861, a little bit higher than I thought it would be. The distance between holes on that shot, I was not happy with that group at 50 yards at all. Um, it looked a lot bigger on the screen, but the actual group size was one inch. And I'll show a picture of that in this video so you can see. The rifle gave me some problems with feeding. I tried feeding through the new FX side shot magazines that are plastic. And I also tried feeding out of the side shot original aluminum magazines. I thought maybe there'd be a slight difference between the two. I can't tell, and there wasn't. Both of them didn't feed these slugs in the impact rifle. I'm not sure if the slugs are too short and they're cocking a little bit as they move up or what. But I do know I am using the probe, the power probe from the power kit in the rifle. I don't know if that's part of the problem or not. But I am going to try these some more. I was pretty impressed with the Howlers at 10 yards and 20 yards. They gave me a great group. At 30 yards, I wasn't pleased with the group. Uh, I did not try any adjustments on the hammer wheel. I was just on max. Tomorrow I'll probably go out and try it on 5, 4, 3, down to 1 and see if I can find a sweet spot on it. I'm hoping I do. I'm going to try to figure out what's causing this feed issue. If I can find out what's causing the feed issue, I'll let you know. Uh, once I get the accuracy where I like it, I'll let you know what I did to get that accuracy. I will put my range card in the video that will give you all the information of how I had the rifle set up. This card has come in real handy. I've talked about it in other videos, but it gives me all the data that I need and I can put it in a file folder and save it and then when I want to go back to the uh, slugs, the howler slugs, I can pull this card out, set my rifle back up to them, and I won't be starting from scratch again. 
I wish I had better luck with these slugs and could recommend them. But at this point right now, for me, with the feed issue, that's a major no-go in the impact. Even above the grouping. I could work on the grouping, but if they don't feed, then I can't use them. So if you guys have any luck with feeding these through your impact, please let me know what you've done. Write it in the comments. I'd love to hear it. If you have any suggestions on what could be the problem, please write them in the comments. I'd love to read them and we'll look at it and see what they, what they are. Thank you for joining me. I wish you the best and we'll see you in the next video.